This is the Wikipedia page for object sexuality. Welcome to Wikilisten, the podcast where we read Wikipedia pages and provide commentary. I'm Victor Vernado, KSN. And I'm Rachel Teichman, LMSW. All right, uh, object sexuality. We don't really want to spoil what it's about, but sometimes people marry pianos. Object sexuality, or objectophilia, is a form of sexual or romantic attraction focused on particular inanimate objects. Individuals with this attraction may have strong feelings of love and commitment to certain items or structures of their fixation. For some, sexual or close emotional relationships with humans are incomprehensible. Some object sexual individuals also often believe in animism and sense reciprocation based on the belief that objects have souls, intelligence, and feelings and are able to communicate. We don't kink shame here at Wikilisten. Research. In 2009, Amy Marsh, a clinical sexologist, surveyed the 21 English-speaking members of Erica Eiffel's 40-strong OS International about their experiences. About half reported autism spectrum disorders. Six had been diagnosed, four were affected but not diagnosed, and three of the remaining nine reported having, quote, some traits. According to Marsh, The emotions and experiences reported by OS people correspond to general definitions of sexual orientation, such as that in an APA article on sexual orientation and homosexuality, which refers to sexual orientation as involving feelings and self-concept. OS Awareness and Advocacy In 2009, Erica Eiffel appeared on Good Morning America and The Tyra Banks Show with Amy Marsh to discuss her marriage to the Eiffel Tower and how her object love helped her become a world champion archer. Marsh shared the results of her survey and her belief that OS could be a genuine sexual orientation and reasoned that if childhood trauma were a factor, that there would be more OS individuals. Eiffel, who had adopted her surname after a 2007 marriage to the Eiffel Tower, founded OS International an educational website, an international online community for those identifying or researching the condition to love objects. Literature. Marsh sees OS-like behavior in classic literature. In Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Quasimodo loved the bells, caressed them, talked to them, understood them. From the Carillon in the steeple of the transept to the great bell over the doorway, they all shared his love. Claude Frollo had made him the bell ringer of Notre Dame, and to give the great bell in marriage to Quasimodo was to give Juliet to Romeo. In popular culture, this article appears to contain trivial, minor, or unrelated references to popular culture. Please reorganize this content to explain the subject's impact on popular culture, providing citations to reliable secondary sources rather than simply listing appearances. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. May 2019. They put that up there in 2019. Nobody's done anything about it. It's 2022. Real life. In 2007, Erica Eiffel married the Eiffel Tower. In 2010, Woman's Day magazine listed 10 romances between people and things, including the Berlin Wall, a fairground ride, a body pillow, a Nintendo video game character, a Volkswagen Beetle, the World Trade Center, a steam locomotive, an iBook, and a metal processing system. And a metal processing system? <laughs> what? How? A March 2012 segment of TLC's My Strange Addiction featured Nathaniel, a man emotionally and sexually attracted to his car. Nathaniel told Anderson Cooper that he was also attracted to jet skis and airplanes. In 2013, an Australian woman, Jody Rose, married the Le Pont du Diable Bridge in France. In 2016, a man was refused permission to marry his computer. In 2020, a Russian woman, Rain Gordon, married a briefcase. (laughs) Music. Big Boy's 2012 solo album, Vicious Lies and Dangerous Rumors, includes a song called Objectum Sexuality. Keys and Crate's video for the song Save Me featured KDB focuses on this particular sexuality. Cinema. Jumbo 2020 
tells the story of a cleaner played by Noemi Merlant at an amusement park who falls in love with a fairground ride. Zoe Widdock, the director, took her inspiration from the experience of Erica Eiffel above. Titan tells the story of a female serial killer played by Agathe Roussel, who somehow becomes pregnant after rubbing herself into a car. <laughs> oh, I think I want to see that movie. You know, that sounds interesting. It does sound interesting. Object sexuality is... I, I, do, I do not fully understand it. Okay. I don't relate to it, but I, I kind of get it. All right. Agree to disagree. Yeah. This has been the Wikipedia page for object sexuality. Thanks for listening to Wikilisten. You can find us at wikilisten.com and on all social media at Wikilisten, except for Twitter, which is at wiki underscore listen. If you'd like us to read a particular Wikipedia page, please let us know. 